I'm back. Uh, breakfast was uh, was pretty good. The old uh, Odeon Theater on their left. <clears throat> Great place for uh, when we were kids going there for uh, Saturday matinees. La Rustica and La Lorraine and the spaghetti place on the right here, uh, they're all closed up now. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a development in there. So we're now we're at Queens Avenue here. Armory is on your left. This is where the YMCA used to be on your right hand side. <clears throat> it's been gone for quite a few years now. Royal Towers. Street here. This is on the left here is where the fire hall used to be. John Robson School used to be on the right. It's now gone. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, turn left here on 10th Street. You can see all the condos uh, down on the waterfront there. For those of you that haven't been here for many many years, there's incredible amounts of development and density here. Uh, now and it just keeps going and going and going that's why I'm leaving I'm going to move away from here hopefully next year or sooner <clears throat> it's just too busy here now and just in front of us uh, you can see the, a new tower being built there that's uh, where fog motors uh, used to be at one time of course, the, here was Safeway, and, and it was like there was a liquor store here on the right, <clears throat> back many years ago. So when I make the turn here to the left, you'll see two uh, two high rises. Those are brand new. Actually, nobody's moving in them yet. One's still under construction. And our left here um, is a, a fairly new development, you know, going back, <clears throat> I guess, eight, maybe eight years, seven or eight years now. There's theaters in there, Safeways in there. Um, there's a bunch of stores, of course. That was the SkyTrain station, which they built over top of. Directly in front of us is the old um, rail station, which was a, then it was a keg for a while, and now it's, um, Kelly O'Brien's. It's a chain that uh, chain of uh, places is from uh, the Okanagan. Of course, the famous building on your right was the uh, train, the train, the tram station, bus station. This is Anvil Center on your left, which is uh, owned by the city. It's where the new museum is. Um, we're going to be coming back there later on this morning to do a little bit more research for. Uh, this is William Davidson. Army Navy used to be on your right. That's now a high rise. Paramount Theater, which is a strip joint. They don't serve alcohol in there. Of course, Cop Shoes used to be on your right. Kind of up to 6th six, uh, six Street here. On your left, over in the far corner there, that's the police station. It's been there since 2000. Um, I, I worked in there. And when I retired and 2004. It's actually three floors of, uh, or two floors? Three floors of police station. Sorry, no, two floors of police station. And then um, condominiums. Army Navy on your right. We'll drive through here again one day and um, give you a bit, another another look. Maybe one early one Sunday morning I'll, I'll come down here. Anybody remember Western Auto? 
Uh, on the left there, auto parts store. It's a restaurant, been uh, a restaurant for many years. Skytrain Bridge, and of course the very, very old Patel Bridge. So Woodlands used to be uh, here on our left. Um, there's really only one building, I believe. Maybe no, two, sorry. <clears throat> two of the original buildings that are still there. One is they turned into a little bit of a condo building. But it's all high rises and condos and townhouses now. And I think the old uh, boiler plant is, um, I think it's a gymnasium. Sports uh, work out there, I think. Pull over to the right and stop. <clears throat> of course, the car in front of me didn't. That's why sometimes emergency services uh, are late getting to, uh, or uh, take a while to get to a, a call. It's because people don't give them the right of way. A little frustrating. Having driven a police car for, for many, many years, um, I know exactly what it's like. So. Just get out of the way. Don't, and don't stop in the middle of the road because that's the worst thing you can do. If you can move, move out of the way. If you have to go through a light or a red light or a, you know, pull up on somebody's lawn or whatever, just get out of the way. So in front of us, again, I drove down here the other day going to work. In front of us to the right, that area is now called the Brewery District. And the Labatt's Brewery used to be there. And uh, it's now Save On Foods. There's doctor's offices in there. There's several other uh, commercial businesses. And of course, you see the apartments, uh, the apartments on your right there. I'm just going to drive up uh, East Columbia here and then down Braid Street and then I'm going to get on the get on the freeway. As I mentioned the other day, um, it, it, and I, I know somebody made a comment about it and it looks like I'm really going fast when actually I'm only doing uh, 50 kilometers an hour or, or less at, at times, um, but it just looks like you're going faster. with this light but it's stuck I don't know this guy crossing in front of me made uh, kind of an illegal entry here amazing you wish you had a ticket book
save on foods on our right here used to be, uh, was, when it first opened, was a thrifties. This building on our right is um, uh, Browns, but it's also uh, the home of uh, BC Transit Police. And um, Royal Columbian Hospital up on your, uh, on your right here. Those of, the, those of you who were born here years ago, this looks nothing like what the original hospital looked like. The hospital that I was born in was an old brick building. Safferton Park on our left. Cap's uh, Cycle, still here. Um, ha uh, Cap Havis has certainly passed away. Um, the bike shops are, are owned by uh, by some of the children. Gino's Gino's restaurant still here. A few other things have changed. Coming up to Braid Street, we're going to turn on to Braid here and go down. I can say go down to the freeway, so we can head out to Cloverdale. This new building uh, under construction on our right here at Russo, this is going to be a new school. It's a private school that is currently at um, the old Rose Garth. If you remember that white sort of mansion on 3rd Street, just above Royal Avenue. Um, somebody bought it a number of years ago and turned it into a school, a private school. They tried to develop that area they bought the, the apartment building behind it on Manitoba Street and thinking that they could develop it and turn it into this big school and, and the neighbors rejected it and there was a petition and, and it, when it went before City Council, City Council rejected it so they found this property here and they're building the school there so I don't know how much of a playground they're gonna have but so I will um, I'm gonna shut this off now I'm gonna hit the freeway and I don't think anybody wants to see me driving on the freeway so hopefully you enjoyed this we'll uh, do some editing later on today get this posted up and hopefully you'll enjoy it and um, stay tuned for uh, for more movies